W-I-C-R. And we're back to end the cut after a long two-week hiatus. I felt like this is deja vu. Yeah. In the audience, but they don't even know about it. But at Benzino underscore the hero, at Rob Jiggity, this is In the Cut, where we talk about basketball, video games, rap. And who knows what else. And who knows what else. So on this segment... But first, 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 yo, yo, look us up on YouTube, type in, in the cut. In the cut. Uh, your boy had a transformation, life changing, my head fell off, and now I'm looking like this, so, uh, with the camera at it, it's your boy. Yeah, you got a, you you got a young, uh, mafioso type look, nah, too. Nah, nah, you know, Fear Otis. But anyway, <laughs> on this segment of In the Cut, we'll be talking about the emergence of Chris Dapps Porzingis. He's been putting on a tear first three weeks of the season. Will he continue? We don't know, but... I like the wording. Emergence? Yes. That's nice wording. That's that's a beautiful wording. But um, sound guy here, Benzino the hero, put something together to get us hyped about Porzingis. This, this ain't charged up. This is straight about Porzingis. Zingy. The fourth pick in the 2015 NBA draft. The New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Leopaya, Latvia. Latvia, what up? played for Sevilla in Spain. They drafted who? You know, it's New York, especially if you're European and they don't know you here. You know that you're gonna you're gonna get booed. So I was ready for it as soon as they called my name. Uh, then really, you know, let it get to my head. Always looking around. There's a nice lunge and steal by Porzingis. That's the energy that the Knicks faithful has been looking oh. for. Porzingis oh. 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 That was nasty, sassy stuff. That's what you want to see him do once he gets inside. The fans and the teammates both highly impressed. And Anthony with the three. No flying in is Porzingis. Wow! What a follow. Porzingis throws it down on Love. Gallows short. Porzingis again! Porzingis on the fade. A little baseline shaking and thinking with the 12 foot jumper. Porzingis hitting a three. Here's Anthony driving, dishing off to Porzingis. Porzingis had a night, folks. So this kid is on the threshold. This crowd is roaring. Chris Stapps Porzingis coming off 29 and 11. 29 and 11. Against getting his sweet revenge against the Charlotte Hornets because... He was robbed of a game winner. He was technically... Technically. Technically robbed of a game winner. Now, we when you heard in the clip, there was booze of young Mr. Porzingis. Knicks fans weren't happy. And, and in that clip, he said, yo, I knew that coming in. Coming yeah. into New York. I'm going to get booed. They don't know me. But it's whatever. With my analysis of Porzingis... My thing was, he's not ready yet. I still think he's not ready. Because I think the kid's just hooping. That's Honestly, uh... Basics, he's playing ball. I think if if he was normal size or undersized in this position, he would not be ready. But the fact that he's tall, it, it mitigates some of his uh, lack of strength. Nice word. The thing about Porzingis, though, going off, the, going off your comment, is that... He's only 20. He's not growing into his body. That's another factor yes. why I thought he wasn't. he's not NBA ready. As in, he's not going to bang with the big boys. Porzingis, in his first three weeks of showing off what he can do, at first, foul trouble. Fa still foul trouble. Still foul trouble. He's Here's averaging a, Continue. He's averaging about four fouls per 36 minutes. And, that's, and this was like first two weeks. Four. It was like... Uh, four fouls. Uh, th you got your fourth foul in the th third quarter. Can't play until eight minutes in the fourth. He's tied in for first in fouls in the NBA. That's not good. In a in a four way tie for first in fouls. No, uh, I didn't know that he was part of that. But Derek Fisher is now monitoring, uh, monitor, monitoring, Mo monitoring. Yeah, I forgot the T. Um, Porzingis is play. When he sees Porzingis out there, if he has one, he'll let him play. See, let's see if the kid can stay in. Yeah. Because the key word there, kid. Yeah. Let's see what the kid can do. And right now, he's showing off, as we said. He is getting in foul trouble, but that is being 
monitored. Oh man, monetary? No, monitored. <laughs> monitored at this moment by the and the coaching staff for uh. Panthers. And um, are you like? A, I don't even. Why am I asking this? Are you like liking what you're seeing from Porzingis? Yes, I I like the pick. Before, I wasn't one of the Knicks fans that was saying boo boo. I was saying give it give him a chance at least before you boo him. Yeah, thing is, let him play a game before you boo him. Then I boo you after if you suck, but <laughs> give, give him a game or two at least. The thing is, I remember this night like it was yesterday. Shout out to Swank and his uh and his folks having us over for draft night. We were at, we were watching it in Franklin's house. He goes, um, "Yo, Ben, you, it's not looking good." I'm like, "Why?" I'm like, oh, "Let me guess, Chris Stapps for Zingas. Nick Select. Chris Stapps for Zingas. I was tight because of the name. I did watch Porzingis highlights. I knew he wasn't a bum. It took me like 15 to 30 minutes to like just get it out of my head. Yeah. But I'm I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. I was cool that he did okay in summer league. You saw he can shoot the ball. And let's go back to the um, the shot in Charlotte. Rob, can you break down what Porzingis did? The game winner? The potential game the winner? The potential game winner that made it like, oh, snap. This kid, this kid, his IQ is there. The, the intelligence on that play was, was crazy because... What Derek Fisher had him do was set a screen for Melo around the, the mid-range area so Melo could pop up shoot the three. But Cody Zeller read the play and saw that he was going to set the screen for Melo. So Chris Stapps faked the screen, came out for a three, which shocked everybody, including all everyone else watching the game. Including Melo. Melo said, whoa. Wait, wait. I, I didn't get the ball? <laughs> right. I thought Gerald Smith left the team. I and then to get the ball in the fourth. <laughs> that's the intelligence in that play, because everyone thought it was going to Melo, and it didn't. And Chris Stapps shot it with. I thought it, it counted. I was I was so upset when it didn't count. One thing about Chris Stapps, Porzingis, the kid has moxie. Yeah. Pure Mox. moxie. He's a to- New, he's a New York style player. After the game where he had twenty nine and eleven. The who's who's the new chick? Rebecca Harrison, right? Yeah. Uh, pre-game, uh, the post-game interview on the court. Dude, Zingas said, "Yo, I could have this every night." He said, because she was like, "Oh, this, this outburst of points." But Zingas is like, "Yo, I, I can do this." He's not afraid. And that shot, I'm happy he took the shot and made it. So now we know. Yeah. He's about that. A rookie, ten ten games into your career. With one of the mo- most clutchest players on your team, with shooters all over your squad, you have the the gall to go out there and shoot a potential game winner. That that shows the moxie he has. He's not afraid of anything. I don't, and the the league is looking at him. When when the Lakers came to town after the game, Kobe Kobe not pay respects to him. Porzingis paid respects to Kobe, but Kobe gave him that assurance like, "Yo, do your thing. You could be you could be something in this league." Now, is this an only a 12-game thing for Porzingis? Because he's coming off a season in where he played in Spain. It's only 30-some-odd some games. Could this be an 82 thing for Porzingis? Not, not 29 and 11, the things that we're seeing on the court from him now. I think he could finish the season with a 16 and, and 10, with a solid 16 and 10. Because right now he's at 12 and 8. He can really, if he gets into his rhythm, he can finish with a nice 16 and 10. Yeah, because thing is about Porzingis, I don't. They are running plays for Porzingis. Half of his points are coming off the glass, as we heard in the clips. Yeah, going into he's fourth in offensive rebounds. Mm, say that. Say that again. Fourth. In fourth off- in offensive rebounds. That means only playing 25 minutes a game. Yeeks. Yeeks. That's some. That's like what Hassan did last year. Yeah, pretty much, but to a lesser extent. The thing about Zingy, that's why that's why that's why that's I call for Zingy. Zingy. The thing about Zingy is they're running plays for him at times. You know they're gonna have the setup play for a follow. Mel's gonna do his thing. Yeah. Half of his points is on hustle. Yeah. The other half is just because the man can shoot the ball. Not exactly. The kid, excuse me. He ain't a man yet. But his shot is not all the way there yet. He's still he's shooting around twenty five percent from three point line. So when he actually gets his shot, his three point shot consistent, 
that's when we're gonna see the the points go up. Yeah, it has to be has to be uh, more consistent. His form is okay. His shooting form. Nice is okay. shooting stroke. It's it's a line driver shot. It has some arc to it, but the way he's the way he's coming up, it's a line driver. And the way he releases it, it's almost impossible to block. He Get releases it. He releases it like above his head, like this. It's, it's like that. Yeah, above his head, like. Now he, he, I saw him um, on the on the fadeaway against Cody Zeller. He shot it. He released it like up here. That's wild, bro. He went up against Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller, Zeller is probably six ten. Zingy already being seven seven one seven two. Yeah. So who, how tall is this kid? <laughs> I, I don't know. His is I be I be hearing seven three from some people. I hear seven one. I know it's still early in the season, and we already talked about could this be an eighty two thing. Is he going to win? He's definitely in the running for Rookie of the Year. Yeah, he's he's uh, third on the rookie ladder uh, since 5 o'clock today. Since I checked at 5 o'clock today. Hmm. But with if the Knicks, barring the Knicks season, if it's good, will he win Rookie of the Year? It depends on what kind of factor he is on the on the season. Because thing is, like Rob Ra- mentioned a factor thing, and I mentioned record. Because I recall Michael Carter Williams getting rookie of the year. He's the best rookie of the year, but his team he was on a was terrible team. Buns, like Zink, Zinky could be the key factor in the Knicks possibly getting the six seed. I mean, I could see them making a six seed with him doing the same thing he's doing now. But I'm saying if he gets to another level, it could be top four. Yeah, like I said, when this when this whole argument, not argument, this debate we're doing about Zinky, the kid's just hooping. Yeah, he's playing a sport that he loves, which is basketball, and he's having fun with it. Any final words on Zingy? All he has to do is just uh, there's really two things that uh, that I saw that I don't like. He needs to really focus and make sure he gets his shot down, and uh, stop fouling. But everything else is is good. Oh yeah, no get babied. Yeah, uh, let me talk about some of his 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 achievements already. Oh. Youngest youngest player to have a twenty five plus ten plus rebound game. Youngest Nick player since. Si- no, youngest Nick player ever. Oh, there was. A st- Do you have the Patrick Ewing stat? Or I should just shut up. And the let Patrick you Ewing stat is uh somewhere over here. He joined Patrick Ewing and uh and Robinson as the third rookie since nineteen eighty five to pick up at least eighty points, sixty rebounds, nine steals, and nine blocks in the first seven games. And that's a good company. Good company. That is good company. You see the career Patrick Ewing had? Yes. You see the career the Admiral had? Yes. Oh. Hopefully. Hey, hopefully the Knicks beat the Thunder tomorrow. But Chris Stapps Porzingis is, I'm not going to say a cornerstone of a franchise. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. The kid's doing his thing. And as New York, a New York Knicks fan, I like that. Oh, what I don't like? I'm sorry. I got to say this. Bro, uh, oh, Zingy, Zing, you're going to be the future. You're going to be uh, dude's, dude's, dude's monster. You know, delusional Nick fans. Like, yeah, I hate when bro, like, those are the same people that were, that were saying, same people boo, that, that thrashed him. Zingy, thrashed get him out of here. And then and then the next, that ain't cool. a week later, they're like, oh, yeah, he's the truth. Bro, we, Come I, on. I watched Summer League. Come I, on. I seen the kid play. Y'all ain't know who Langston Galloway was in Summer League last yeah. year? None of y'all knew that. I did because I was there watching it with you. Yeah, but... But you know the stupid like the, the, the ones that just go to the garden, buy a Knicks hat, buy a Knicks hat, Knicks shirt there, rock it, and they and they keep it pushing and put. Yo, the, shout out to Langston Galloway right, though, right. second in three point percentage in the right. NBA right now. LG Carvin, second in three point percentage in the NBA boy, right now. Langston Galloway, he put in work four year, four years at St. Joe's. Had to go to the D League first, got his spot, and did his thing. Man. Like him, it's, he's it's a hard working basketball, hard working guy. I like him. He's a good kid. Exactly. Good kid, man. In the cut, Ben's the only hero. Rob Jiggity, shot return. Ah.